All right, everybody, pay attention. Next up on the mic from Brooklyn, New York, we've got Junior Hernandez. Give him a big round of applause. Thank you, guys. Give it up for your host, Logic. He's doing a great job tonight. Appreciate that. Thank you for having me on the mic. Man, but I'm originally from New York, and I moved out here about a year ago, and I had no idea where the fuck I was moving. Like, I went from Brooklyn to San Juan, Texas. San Juan. San Juan. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm Puerto Rican. San Juan's a thing. I didn't know Texas had a San Juan, right? So I get there, and it's the most Mexican place ever. Like, I grew up, and I loved the Taco Bell, and I thought that was like, me, right? I know. I didn't know. Right, so I come down here. Listen, you taco palante, right? You got all this shit. I got it. But I don't know. I'm, listen, I'm a white boy in a Puerto Rican body from New York City. Give me a break, okay? I used to like put salt on my like corollas and shit, and I put the lime in it. And then a couple months ago, I was sitting next to this lady, and she was going next to like the salt, and I was like. Do I do that when when I drink my beer? Do I sit there like a fucking <laughs> like making the salt up? There's no masculine way to do that, by the way. Okay, JJ Watt. JJ Watt? I'm <laughs> the furthest thing from JJ Watt, bro. You're white, you know, and it sucks, man. You're like a what? Where are you? This guy's gonna spend it. What what though? The Mexican. Mexican. Damn, bro. Dude, I came out here and I was trying to like find Puerto Rican chicks and it's not gonna happen. I gave up, right? And I didn't know that living in the valley you're so close to Mexico, right? So I was like, I wanna go to Mexico for the first time. So I go to Progresso and it was the scariest thing that I've ever had to deal with in my life. Like as soon, like I'm used to dealing with bums in New York City, right? Hey, my kid needs food, like shut the fuck up, bum, get with me, right? And buy the cheap layer, shut up. But that's what I'm saying, the little kids come up to you, cheap layer. If you don't buy the cheap layer, he's wearing a Tony Romo jersey and khakis. Where are you going, right? Where's your mother? And I get concerned, right? And this kid comes up and I'm like, all right, fuck it, I give him a dollar. And then like 20 little Mexican kids like pop out of the fucking sands. <laughs> I was out $26 like that in Progresso. And I thought I was a hustler, right? But then everywhere you go in Mexico, somebody has something for you, right? Hey, you need glasses? You need teeth? You need drugs? Do you need a sombrero? Like, there's so much shit going on where it's like, I'm good, right? And because some people think I'm black, I was walking down the street in this guy in corner. I had to say, his name had to be Costa Rico. Had to. And he goes, I know what you mean, man. I know what you mean. You want some more time? You want some fun yeah. time, man? First of all, wait, that's fucked up. Because wait for me forever was a fucking protein. Now it's a thing I say all the time. Like, <laughs> I was talking to my mom the other day, and I was like, oh, I ain't so I And she's like, he went to Texas and lost it, so this is not my son. <laughs> he is not my son, though. So this guy's like, you want some fun time? You want some fun time? I'm like, no. I bring my own, thank you. And then he goes, I know what you need, Wayne. You want some crystal meth? You want some crystal meth? And I was like, Wait, you guys actually, where? How do I get your, right? So, I don't do crystal meth, guys. I mean, it's kind of a joke, but Mexico is crazy. What is it with the monkeys and the Dallas Cowboy hat and the fucking penis coming out of the monkey and a Corona bottle? Why is that a thing? Mexico's nuts, dude. There was this chick sitting there, she looked like a uh, zombie from The Walking Dead. She was, she was all broke up. It was like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, what is going on out here? I want to get back, right? So that was my first experience, and we're heading back. So we're going back to try to get to America. And they're like, do you have anything to claim? And my girlfriend takes Xanax. So she bought her Xanax in Mexico, but they didn't bring her prescription. Yes, the Xanax! You sound, <laughs> she sounds like every 
basic white girl I've ever met in my life. How do you have Spanish? Shit, listen, I've ended up in jail because they found this. Yeah, I ate toast. She was like, Xanax. Xanax. She's fucking no wonder you're the worst. I grew up as a Puerto Rican man in the right body. I honestly, what? What is that? What is that, what is that bag of, of, of liquid? How, how many did you have tonight? 72. <laughs> you should be dead. <laughs> Listen, guys, I grew up in Louisiana. Listen, I, I didn't grow up in Louisiana. I could have sworn I said that at the beginning of the joke, but anyway. 
Moving on. I walk downstairs, my mom's making pancakes, and everyone's just like looking at me. You know what? Everyone's just kind of like, so I was looking at him like, my brother comes out of nowhere. The jingle bells, jingle bells, and I was like, I was like the first thing. Tell them the Christmas story. Tell them the Christmas story. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was embarrassing. And then the last joke in my story I'm going to tell you today was I decided to hotbox my mother's porn, right? Like the HBO back in the day, where you just push the button and you can get like pay per view and all that kind of shit. And there was, I remember the scene like it was yesterday. There was a judge and a criminal, and the criminal fucked the judge. It was amazing. And my mom had her girlfriend over, and they're hanging out, having a good time. So I'm jerking off, but I had a last channel set on Cartoon Network, just in case, right? So my mom comes in, I do the most, no, I'm not touching my head, kind of thing, you know, like your father. So I switched over to cartoons, and my mom goes, what are you doing? I said, also, what are you doing? And I'm like, nothing. I'm touching Greg's tape, you know? She hits fucking the last channel. <laughs> and then she immediately beats my ass, sends me to my room, and goes to her girlfriend. Do you know what this nasty motherfucker was doing? And puts me on blast, okay? I was never scared of the dark, but she put me in the room, I'm sitting there crying like a bitch. And I cried all night. And I woke up the next day, and one of my mom's friends was a school crossing guard to my junior high school. And she was like, what's up, hot shot? How was your life? And I started to know like, She's like, you shit and jerk off in your mom's friend. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to fucking class. All right? Listen, guys, that's all my time. My name is Junior Hernandez. You guys have been fucking awesome. I appreciate it. Give it up for your host one more time. All right. All right. That's what we got to do now. Is this the whole thing? Give a hand to Junior from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York.